আপনারা দেখছেন ইয়থ আওয়ার regarding your activities in in Eden care yeah um this experience really touched me like um on our volunteers whatsapp group they were messaging um about a brother that passed away and b- due to um financial issues the family couldn't bury him so he passed away in another european country and the the wife and the two young children were in this country but they had no money like i think they didn't even have money for shopping as well because he was no. a provider and suddenly he passed away so they're talking about about this brother and um, we have a caller hello caller assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum caller assalamu alaikum assalam how is sister where are you calling from um i'm actually uh farhana's son okay okay go ahead yes <laughs> go farhana say hello to him Hello Zain. Um, Thank you for uh, calling. I didn't even ask you to, but it's so yeah, nice no, of you to um, even watch. So I just thought, you know, you were doing quite well. Um and uh yeah, so saw you on TV and uh thought I should call. Oh, oh thank you, Baba. I thought you were playing football outside. But um, uh, no, you, I got you, back quite a bit ago. Yeah. Um thank you, Baba. You're going to look after mummy when I'm old? <laughs> Do you have any more calls did you say? Sorry, sorry. No, sorry, I used to okay. there. Okay. Thank you for um, calling. Abu, do you want to say anything else? Uh, yes, I was going to say um uh you know about uh, Nana, your dad. Um, you know, it was nice how you touched on that. Oh. I just that from my point of view how oh, close he was to you and yeah. Oh, so uh I already made do for him. I'll make do for him again. <laughs> I have the best son. Amazing, I have the best amazing. son. <laughs> Yo man how old are you Jane how old are you Uh 14 14 mashallah alhamdulillah you're very mature for your age <laughs> thank you alhamdulillah make um, dua for us inshallah thank you next caller hello assalamu alaikum okay please if uh, call back again if you just called and we missed your call please call us back inshallah uh next caller hello assalamu alaikum hello you have to keep crying hello Can you put the s- volume like down please of your TV? Like, that sounds like my son. Well, 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 put it down please. Yes, thank you. Hello. Hi there. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, hello. Assalamu alaikum. Rahima. Oh, wa alaikum assalam. How are you? You've you've managed to come through. Yeah, daddy, daddy, daddy. Daddy. <laughs> daddy <Okay. possibly. laughs> yes. Okay. I think they're ah. gone. Let's okay. go. Just call back if you could yeah, and co- get this uncle to call as well if he's possible. He's trying yeah, to call mashallah it would be great. Dad. And yeah, we'll be waiting for his call inshallah. We don't only have uh, 20 minutes to go. Uh, do you want to quickly finish the Yeah, just um, your experience in the volunteer then I'll go to Yeah, I think um to be a volunteer is very important and there's different roles you can play and one of the most important thing for us as a community is to know our ra- rights whichever place we're in, you know. whether we have a dying relative whether someone died or whatever education everything as a community on the whole we need to know our rights you know to progress the experience you are sharing regarding the family yeah. you said yeah so oh. s- they would like on whatsapp group they were just like uh, talking this brother we need to help and stuff and then suddenly um uh, i think my hero ahad mia <laughs> he's, he's, he's a big he's hero man i don't know he's a know. hero because <laughs> i watched <laughs> what he does it's amazing nobody no like not everyone can do what the role he plays So um he Silent just suddenly giant. yeah he just suddenly called and said sister Farhana like would you like to come with me because the lady is a sister and he feels uncomfortable to go on his own because she has young kids you know um th- the story is the brother passed away in another country and they couldn't bury him for 42 days so tande akita intend um khobor khobor dita farsona 
42 days we get for sure how today to I'm not the organization Eden K I'm looking to who not for you Abu Vaita Akbar you who is on I'm not pay home or I'm looking to funding is totally after a shop or donation or free and I'm not as I was I'm down is a pocket the key they I'm not fundraising for you host already so my day a good luck a key had on it a cup important to I mean so I came out to love we say the death see a man is also okay first of all people like volunteer I had by is a volunteer you know, regularly he buries people because there are few nai after such a nai very horrible. And then betari je obosta desi. And then to for me to be part of that, it meant um, it meant a lot to me. So um, it was emotional has for that, me to see. Has that changed your lifestyle though? Has that changed your the things you see as a? Totally, totally. It made me realize that you know, like, because I'm involved in mainstream things. You know, like. Like I'm involved in mainstream politics and also, you know, I, I'm a director for an organization and I'm uh, doing lots of things, alhamdulillah. Sure. But it, it really like from that day, I, every day, like every second I think about death. But in a good way because when I was there, I felt so peaceful in the cemetery. You know, it, it was a good experience. Like people might think, oh, to see a burial and all that, it's spooky, it's frightening. But for me, it was more empowering. I'm um, stronger reality, than ever, actually, yeah. Reality, and the yeah. whole process was so peaceful, thanks to Eden Care, because they were the middlemen sure. between the family, the b um, cemetery, uh, you know, the, um, what was it called? The Anyway, the cemetery, they have different names. I think, how Garden many we peace. have? Garden of, Garden of Peace. Peace. Yeah. Well, how many Muslim cemeteries do we have? <laughs> we, we have a few. We have a few. Um, but not enough, I think. In the future, we'll need more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, so can I come to... Uh, um, uh, just yeah. uh, He wasn't buried for 42 days. But as soon as he came to Eden Care, we buried him within two days. Within yeah. two days. As oh, the dua you're going to get, man. As soon as so we much were able to, we, we buried yeah. him. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. But, uh, Dawood, I want you to do your... Um, okay. Quiet, if you can. So this is basically... I, I, I wrote this... Um, the day we buried Uncle Pascal, and then um, I kind of um, expanded on it um, at the conference, uh, for the conference. So. Uncle Pascal, a beautiful soul, a father who showed compassion and mercy to others all his life until he was 76 years old. Bed bound for over 40 years, but he hardly complained. From hurting other people, he surely refrained even though at times it was so hard for him to deal with the pain. The suffering, the agonies of sickness. A strong man indeed, his character was so great, contradictory to his physical weakness. I held back my tears the day he died. The suffering had now ended, and that was something all his close ones, including myself, despised. Doctors had said he would not live for long, but the end of life support went on for more than two years strong. A man from the West Indies who had been a great role model for all those whom he met. A prince of our community whom we will never forget. All those that knew him only spoke of him highly. How can such a lovely man, even in pain, be at times so smiley? You called me a musketeer and those words have inspired me to carry on with no fear. Supporting brothers and uncles like you, cause I do care and have emotions and love. Humanity comes first, so don't be so hurt and remember him for all the good he said and make sure it's heard. His blessings of his three children, Rose cared for him so well. Eden care filled any gaps of loneliness we did not want him to feel. But the day did arrive to bury him in eternal gardens. Rest in peace. Forgiveness we ask from God, God Almighty Allah, we hope he is pardoned. Uncle Pascal is one of many in the same predicament. We must care for our sick and elders without no hesitance. Says, Every soul will taste death, we are not forever young. Care and compassion, love and hope, caring for the terminally ill, Eden care has much scope and room for development. But we need your backing because neglecting important duties of life and death, we must not fail, we must not be slacking. We thank each and every one of you for being here today, for peace, love and well-being. We all sincerely do pray. Mashallah. 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 What a good prayer, brother. You know, what a good prayer, subhanAllah. Um, 
you can do Nasheed as well. Nasheed? Yeah, um, two lines. Two lines for uh, something. Uh, I think. Okay, you think about it. Come, okay. Do, uh, okay. You think so about it. It will be we'll okay. round off with the time. We'll, we'll round off with the Nasheed. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Abu Bai, it's a scary thing, honestly. We don't know our rights in a lot of places. A lot of things are happening. We don't know. In, in our know, you know, we, we can't do anything about it because we don't know. And how do you see the future of Muslim in this country? I think I, th I think the future is good. We just need to be aware. We need to fulfill our responsibilities towards our parents, our elders, our neighbors. Eating care is not just for Muslims. It's not just for Bangladeshis. It's for everyone. Visiting people uh, who are sick, uh, we we visit everybody. Yeah, wh what I meant was that. Do you think our kids gonna dump us? Like the way it's going, the, thing? the way it's going. It's a worry. We, it's, uh, well, if you look at it, the, the prices of price of ha housing <laughs> increasing. We're educating our children. Education means they will go and have a career. So when you're terminally ill, you are in need of that care. Your children. Uh, will not be able to physically be able to care for you. It's going to be hard for them. So we need to have institutions and services mm. that are culturally inclusive. According to Hospice UK, there are going to be a quarter of a million Muslims by the year 2030. That's uh, uh, 13 years time from now. Now, we as a community, we need to plan and develop these services. We need to change policies within the hospitals, the hospices, and the care homes. At the moment, it's not happening as fast as it should. And I've given you the example of a care home, and I've given you, uh, I can give you many examples of hospices. And um, we took our mother in the hospice, and my father said, it's a place of dying, and we don't want her to die. Now, also we know the burial cost 15 years ago was 1,500 pounds. Right now, it's £3,800. In 15 years' time, we're anticipating the burial cost to be six to £10,000. How are our children are going to be paying their rents and mortgages? Mm. How will they afford? Are we taking developing a burial plan to pay for our burials now? We need to think about this. Otherwise, as I've said, According to the National Cremation Service, 75% of the population have cremation. This balance tipped in the year 1969, where majority people used to have burial. Because of the cost associate, uh, associated, we need to think about how we can reduce the cost. Eating care, we are looking at formulas uh, as to how we can reduce further, not make profit, and and keep the burial cost, and we're also looking at saving plan options, um, so we can take care of the needy person. Um, also, uh, we know up and down the country, w let's look at Tower Hamlets. Tower Hamlets has 15 to 20 different end of life, elderly care, end of life services. We did a, a, a study uh, and looked at how many Muslim Bangladeshi end of life services. Do you know how many there are? I don't know. So. There aren't. There aren't any. I mean, people say eating care. We've just started. We're in our infancy. We have a long way to go. Um, we need uh, more volunteers. We need people to make dua. We need people to make donations uh, for this course so that we can increase our capacity and do the work uh, a lot more, inshallah. It's, it's, it's amazing, comprehensive idea about how we're going to face. It's difficult. How are you going to face 6,000 to 10,000? It's going to be an issue, man, believe me, because people can't pay even rent, and it's getting expensive as well. Well, that's why Eating Care, what we're doing, we're looking uh, at a program for burial for all. People pay in a small amount, and we, we, we will take care of their burial needs should the time come. Uh, and we're looking at other options, Fantastic. inshallah, we will be presenting very soon. Oh, yeah. Brother Dawood, your nasheed. Okay, I think uh, the most befitting nasheed, um, obviously, uh, a lot of us, have, um, Abu Bhai, myself, um, 
with lost parents, I, I lost my mother. It's a better time to call it Abu Ankul. <laughs> <laughs> when I reach 50, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I, I, I do have an ashit called uh, My Dearest Mother. Um, I wrote, um, I wish she was alive, but it's the Qadr of Allah that I could sing it to her. But um, um, I've recited yeah, it that, inshallah. Since the first time I opened my eyes, you were always there for me by my side. Oh, how can I ever deny that my mother was the dearest in my life? Every day I'm feeling to cry, but my faith keeps me strong so I don't ask why. My mother, my dearest mother, Ya Allah, grant her Jannah My mother, my dearest mother Ya Allah, grant her Jannah MashaAllah, MashaAllah, MashaAllah You can watch uh, all, uh, on that YouTube? Yes Okay, what is it called? What's, what's it called? Uh, Abu Dawood Abu Dawood okay. Oh, MashaAllah, oh, that's great man, you wrote it yourself as well Yes Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Uh, we don't have much time, dear sister, and um, I want you to tell me um, what you want to... S okay, so you only have one, one minute, one and a half minutes to uh, convince people to come and help. Um, and care. And it's an amazing project. Yeah, the, uh, um, despite one. everything that you do in life, you know, uh, I mean, I do a lot in my life, but to come to Eden Care and be part of it, it's, it's one of the greatest things, you know, I've done. Um, to bring change in people's lives and um, the way th you know they they get you in it's like you know they train you up and they it's a eating care family basically so be part of the family and like you'll meet lots of talented people <laughs> it will be an honor to you know be with everyone and most importantly you know people out there need us and you know we should be there for people and we should give back because you know we're blessed with so much um, sometimes we don't realize until something happens do you remember one thing that really twisted your life around? One incident in, in doing those kind of volunteer stuff? One, something comes into your head? Um, the burial, like um, as soon as I was asked to go to the burial, this is something that I wouldn't normally go. You know, but after hearing the brother's story, like 42 days yeah. and everything, and the family on their own, uh, sister, who's probably my age, with young children, uh, I thought, no, I have to be there. So I, as soon as Brother Ahad called me up, I said, I'm coming. You know, I didn't know what I was doing, but on in the car, like I was asking questions and, you know, and uh, th this whole experience just changed me. It made me a stronger person. I think I can like almost tackle anything in life now. You know, it's, it's and it was so peaceful and a really nice journey. You know, initially mm -hmm. you think it's, it's kind of not your thing or scary or something, but it wasn't. And to help someone, you know, it's, it's amazing. I don't know where you get all these talents, man. I don't know. It's, it's not only them two. I know so many of them. SubhanAllah, you actually selecting those cream of our community. SubhanAllah. Let me, let me it's assure it's you. It's <laughs> we, don't, uh, we don't do... We, we, all we, we do... Come to them. <laughs> we only do the vetting. That they are good, uh, safe people. It's not exclusive for uh, the best of the best. No, 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 we do it. Everybody has something to com contribute. That's why Eden Care's simple motto is a simple act of kindness. So if a person who's watching can do a simple act of kindness, they, they'll be part of the family too. Your last two minutes to our viewers. <coughs> okay. Um, Farhana didn't mention, but uh, we also provide, uh, if somebody dies, we, vis we have a rapid response team. And as part of the rapid responding, she did some cooking. And, and also, there's so many other sisters uh, and brothers. Uh, they did, did the cooking, they did the cleaning. So in this case, uh, with uh, Sister Mariam, yeah. you know, she, uh, uh, one of her family friends passed away. He's a Muslim, and they didn't have uh, much support. She provided the cooking and uh, I uh, took their food. She, I think, you, uh, I, I for Brother Pascal as well. Yeah, and Pascal, very alhamdulillah. Yeah. <laughs> See, that sort of support, uh, these are tools, Islamic tools of support. And this is what we do also. And the heroes behind it, you not care. Uh, you know, I'm just maybe the face, but there's, you can see them. And all the heroes, the troublemakers who are watching, <laughs> all the you not care. <laughs> alhamdulillah, we have, a, we, <coughs> we have disagreements. and. That's good. Uh, as long as there's proactiveness, that's good. Um, 
you know, uh, we've got Hamida, she visits uh, Lily, terminally ill sister, on end of life plan. So I have to thank all the volunteers and I have to say to all the viewers, death is a reality. We're all going to die and we need to plan for it, we need to think about it. And those who are on the periphery, who are uh, needy, we need to ensure that we support them. With, uh, with burial, we, we have the Muslim burial fund. It doesn't mean that we don't refer non-Muslims to, we have partnership with a Christian organization to uh, address the Christian burial issues. Now, with the befriending, we will see Muslims and non-Muslims. Okay. Can I have you, do, you, do you have a number of people actually you buried non-Muslims or new Muslims? Okay, we have buried in total up until now, uh, we have buried 33 uh, people. The vast majority of them are Muslim reverts. Uh, we have befriended over 18 uh, people and uh, their relationship with Abu Dawood, the befriending was going on for two years. Yeah, with Lily, it's been almost two years. With Rose, uh, it's been going on for a year. So we will visit them and maintain that relationship and get close. And we will, uh, inshallah, conclude with the burial. It's a very emotional. You make friends with people and you know they don't have long to live. Exactly. But that is a reality with all of us. Of We're all going to die one day, but this is just a fast track. And, it, it is, uh, and that's why... We didn't care. We provide uh, supervision and support, um, Mushallah, and, that's good. Uh, and and that's why we need the infrastructure support, inshallah. Um, brother, you have yeah, fifty brother. seconds. It, it also it really helps with your iman. I mean, going and seeing that, witnessing people dying and getting close to them, and you knowing that this is going to happen to close family members as well, could happen to us. We don't know. It boosts your mind. But what I do like to say, and I'm, but I'm really impressed. I mean, I've worked for various organizations. I've done some voluntary work for some other uh, charity organizations. The amount of hard work the volunteers do, some of them, mashallah, is, it's, it's very, very impressive. Um, some of the brothers and sisters. And um, also today is quite saddening because one of the volunteers who recently <coughs> lost uh, the, the child, uh, please make dua for him because um, I I've, I've heard it's his second child he's Alan lost. Rahman, isn't um, he was supposed to be here. Yeah. Uh, his child, uh, one of our volunteers, his child uh, was buried yesterday. Yeah. May Allah uh, give him Allah strength Allah and his Allah wife Allah strength. He's an amazing um, volunteer, he's an amazing yeah, brother. Thank you, brothers, for your time today and sister. It's, 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 it's an honor to have you guys, honestly. It's an honor to have you guys. And uh, dear viewers, <laughs> A very emotional uh, night, actually, um, but this is very practical stuff. I'm one of the whole mafnara, Zulishu Duktahe, Shomaitahe, involve Oka, Dehoka, help Koloka, Shomidifar in Nafosha, Zela Balla Gavnara. So please make dua for us, and if you said anything wrong, please do forgive us, and I hope to see you next week, inshallah. Make dua for me and everyone else and the people around the world. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.